Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here, and I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I hope you learn how to love yourself and each other. On this channel, we use viral video topics as teachable moments for dating, relationships, and self-love in our own lives. And I came across this really fascinating story about a mother who went to her child's school. Oh goodness, you have to see this video. So the mother goes to the child's school and she beckon so her child's being bullied and the mother beckons any child to send somebody 18 or over to her and she will f them up listen you gotta see it right so i'm gonna play that for you before that you know i have to make this statement because this is the last weekend for the vitamin e this as you know my vitamin e is all natural it is if you if you have vitamin e first of all i don't have on any makeup right I have on some, as you see, a smoky eye, and I have concealer on under my eye, but I don't have on foundation. And this is what I want for you. I want you to be able to decide how much makeup you want to wear, if any at all. I don't want you to have to be dependent on it. I want you to be able to get that melanin popping. I want you to be able to go swimming this summer and come out of the pool or wake up in the morning looking the same way that you did the night before. So that's what I want I want for you. So this I sell this once a year and this is the last weekend that it's on sale people are writing to me in a panic like I hope you still have it don't wait till the last minute this is the last weekend and then after that you gotta wait till next year all right so let's jump into this video as you know this video is sponsored by my vitamin E get yours today and don't delay so listen let's listen to this mother go off in this school right now let's go if y'all bully my daughter, if you look at her the wrong way, if you breathe the wrong way, say your mom to me. Sisters, aunts, anybody over 18, I'll f them all up. Do you understand me? An angry mom goes off on students inside an Orange County classroom. Well, tonight she is facing the fallout. The woman says her daughter was being bullied and she wanted to put a stop to it in any way she could. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in Aliso Viejo with that story. Stacy. Yeah, Susie, I spoke with that mom on the phone tonight, and she told me that she admits she could have handled this differently, but she says that she doesn't regret marching into her daughter's eighth grade classroom uninvited and defending her. Take a look. Y'all don't know me. Y'all think y'all bullies? I'm the big bully, okay? Let that be known and understand that. Leave my daughter alone and I mean it. Fed up with boys bullying her daughter, mm. this Orange County mom goes on a rant in her daughter's classroom at Nigel Hills Middle School Tuesday. Sisters, aunts, anybody over 18, I'll f them all up. Do you understand me? Leave my daughter alone. Christian Tinsley says for months her daughter reported several boys repeatedly bullied her. She says when the school told the boys to stop, the bullying got worse. In the classroom, on social media, and on her walk home, her daughter even reported one boy sexually harassed her. The school investigated it and suspended him after interviewing witnesses. And that's when things got worse. Tuesday, as Tinsley dropped her daughter off for school, she started crying and begged to stay in the car. Then she made a comment to me that if she wasn't as strong as she was, she would have killed herself. And so that's when mama bear mode went into effect. Tinsley says after the school recommended she not speak to the bullies or their parents herself, she took matters into her own hands. She knew the school would likely ban her, but it wasn't the school she was thinking of. Sometimes if you've done everything you can do the way you're supposed to do it and it hasn't been resolved, then sometimes you have to decide if you're willing to go a step further and deal with any consequences. And I was prepared for that because my daughter is number one. This dad agrees. I'm sure she had talked to people and nobody took care of business. And uh, a mother or a father is going to do what they feel they need to do to protect their child. In a statement to families, the Nigel Hills Middle School principal wrote, when a parent or student shares concerns about bullying or harassment with administration, teachers or staff, they're immediately investigated. At our school site and both students and their parents are contacted. The mom has now been banned from the school <laughs> while the Orange County Sheriff's Department investigates. That's the latest from Elisa Viejo. Susie and Jeff, back to you. Oh, oh gracious. You know what? <laughs> Listen. You know, first things first. You know, we're talking about that vitamin E. Look at that mother. Woo! 
Christian Tinsley, is it? When I first saw this, I thought that was the daughter speaking. She has a 13-year-old child. Lord of mercy, gyal. Looking good. Black don't crack. So listen, you know, there's a few different things that I want to show you. I'm actually going to show you the picture of one of the bullies as well as um, letters of bullying, the messages that the, that the daughter has received. Oh, the child was suspended from school for three days because her mother went to class and because she brought this issue uh, to social media for attention. Apparently, it wasn't getting it wasn't getting resolved at the base level, so she had to take it a step further. Speaking of not getting resolved, did you all hear the mother say that the daughter had considered suicide? This is so problematic. Another thing boys doing the bullying boys you know what listen this is my book the book of affirmation self-love if your child has been the victim of bullying if your child is a bully contact me come to my website and get a copy of this book i am doing a bogo right now so you buy one you get one for yourself or someone else and this book is an amazing book it has representation in there of multi multi ethnic people this is one of my favorite images and it just it's an amazing book to help rewrite the subconscious programming especially if you have been under attack by other people when we're under the age of eight and then again when we are under the age of 16 our minds are in their most impressionable states and the programming that we receive lasts through our adult years. And so many of us are dealing with issues that were not resolved when we were children. So if your child has been bullied or if your child is a bully, there's something wrong there. Something is definitely wrong. I want to hear your thoughts about this mother, her going to the school and taking matters into her own hands. Your child comes to you and tells you that they've been contemplating suicide. What do you do? I have a friend whose daughter at the age of nine, she was being bullied at it by boys at an Asian school and her child wanted to commit suicide at the age of nine and I'm like nine if the school is not handling it what do you as a parent do this you know what this bullying situation in this country has gone on far too long and far too wide and with far too many students this needs to ha get a handle on it. So let's take a look at some things that I found. I'm going to read you some of the bullying that this young lady is enduring now, even after her mother has come to the school. Some of it I can't even read out loud. We're talking about 13-year-olds, and me, I can't even read it out loud inside my videos because it's so vulgar. So listen to this. <clears throat> You think you're the S-H-I-T in four period, but you, you're, you're, or not, and your mom can't effing beat my A-S-S, because she can't effing hit me, effing B-I-T-C-H. This is a child writing this. Somewhere along the line, something went wrong. Something went wrong, and it needs to be handled, and it needs to be solved. There's a crying out among children. There's a crying out among boys. This toxic masculinity starting so early that the girl was sexually harassed. And then after interviewing students, the child was suspended. Listen, let's go forward. Let's, let's look at this. Someone else. That effing B-I-T-C-H dead. Go crying to all your... So the dead is a, a picture of a skull, an emoji of a skull. Go crying to all your friends like you always do. Bad B-I-T-C-H wannabe. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. And then here's this boy. Look at this boy. Chubby little thing. Look at him. With his own issues, most likely. F that B-I-T-C-H, bruh. And I, I K, which I guess is I know, that's that she's probably seeing this, but I D G A F, which means I don't give an F, right? And then at the bottom it says F U B I T C H A S S Jade, 
with the picture of this little boy flipping the flipping the finger where are we what the he double hockey sticks is going on if this is your child what do you do what do you do let me see i think there's more oh yeah look there's more there's more s and b i t c h you have to hide from your mom you had your mom come to the school and say s h i t she's just a b i t c h i you and your mom no one likes you your mom means nothing and she isn't nothing go ahead call the police i thought your mom said she can effing handle it but instead she went to the effing police like what a notch and i hope you show uh, your BITCH ASS mom this and that. She does not mean SHIT to me. Little SHIT. Come on. This is an ignorant little. Oh, ignorant little children. And then it goes on. And I hope you got this, BITCH. Buffoons. <sighs> and then so here's the suspension letter that, um, that, that, that Jade received, right? So it goes on to say that the girl disrupted school activities or otherwise willfully defied the valid authorities of supervisors, teachers, administrators, blah, blah, blah. You can read it. I'll put it right there for you. Then it goes on to say that she caused um, this incident that caused this suspension happened as follows. Uh, Jade admitted to f facilitating the video of an event in class and posting the video online, resulting in a significant disruption to the school environment. But these toxic little boys running rampant in your school is not disrupting the school environment. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. She also continued to post items online as late as 5-15-2019 after being directed to desist, which escalated to the disruption. And here's what the mother has to say. Jade can't even stand up for herself. She has to miss three days of school, fall behind in her work, and miss the last solo choir audition of her eighth grade year. She's not allowed to post on social media, but these bullies can post whatever they want, and Mr. Aman and Mr. Smith, the assistant, principal, the assistant principals, told me that they couldn't do anything about things being posted online after school. So why the hell is my daughter suspended? Jade's mom. All right. So it sounds like the school said that they couldn't do anything about posts being made after school. But suddenly, Jade's posts are the ones causing a disruption. If they had taken care of the bullies in the first place, then Jade wouldn't have had to go to social media and the school wouldn't have had to been disrupted because obviously whatever's going on in that school needs to be disrupted. It needed to be disrupted. That dysfunction needed to be disrupted Ugh. you know what I, I listen mama if you don't have a lawyer already get you a lawyer because someone needs to file a motion against this school for cause this is unbelievable this is unbelievable oh if they had been handling their business in the first place it wouldn't have had to reach to these levels so i i, I want to hear your thoughts below on this your daughter comes to you and tells you she's been considering taking her own life. She's being bullied by boys, sexually harassed, and otherwise threatened by threat of harm and force. People telling her, go ahead, go to the police. These little, these little children need to be rounded up. You think your body, they need to be rounded up. You know what? Because it's like they're off to a terrible start. They're off to a terrible start. I don't have any tremendous words of wisdom inside of this video because I, I want, I'm going to actually present this to you all. This is a tricky situation. And me personally, I just, I, I don't know. I support the mother 100% because at the end of the day, we have too many children out there feeling the devastating effects of, of bullying. It's, it, listen, you all know that when I had my, my, life-altering situation a few years ago and I ended up living in my car and I was being bullied online. I know what it's like to have a tremendous amount of people descend upon you with their, their, their hideous energies. Attempting to be able to chip away at any strong points to be able to, to 
break it break the shell to the weakness or to the weak points the soft spots I don't know I don't know and then like I said when the mind is still forming and that subconscious mind is being programmed things soak in even deeper like as an adult you're already formed from the stuff that happened to you as a child but as a child you're being programmed with this negative talk that's why books like mine like this this affirmations journal is so important because it helps to undo that programming like the conscious mind that you can attempt to make change consciously but to make lasting change efficiently you've got to rewrite that program and you've got to rewrite that script you've got to heal that trauma that has happened to you over the years or as a child and continue to perpetuate throughout your life you know what on that note I'm gonna get out of this video I really want to hear your thoughts below I want you to take a look I'm gonna put videos I mean I'm gonna put pictures of this cute little family up here I mean look at this little girl She's so adorable. She, she looks like such a sweetheart. And even if she wasn't, people have the right to navigate through this world and come into themselves and who it is that they choose to be without threat of harm and death from other people for just choosing who it is that they want to be navigating through this world. I just, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. When are we going to nip this stuff in the bud? We need to get right to the source. Because you know what? I'm sure there are parents out there who don't know that their children are. And I just, I just, I don't get it. So there's part of me that's thinking there are parents that don't know that their children are bullies. And there, there's part of me that's thinking that there are parents who create their children into bullies. And parents who don't offset these, these destructive, toxic behaviors in their child. They have these spoiled children who go out there cutting up and acting the fool because they don't have the the discipline necessary going on at home, the positive reinforcement, the non-violent discipline, so that they go out there into the streets and they enact violence upon others, they ridicule and taunt. Where did they get this from? They're 13. They're 13. You know what? On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I started talking about the vitamin E earlier, and I said if you have vitamin E and your vitamin E is clear, your vitamin E is synthetic, look at the label. It will, it will be called it will be called tocopherol acetate. This right here is tocopherol. It's it's the alpha tocopherol with a bouquet of alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocotrienol. It's pure. It's all natural. I make it once a year. I hand package it and I ship it out. And the shipping is going to begin on May 20th. So listen, get yours now. Please don't wait. And get your... Thank you. I want to thank everybody who's pre-ordered the book. And everybody who's ordering the book now, I can't even I can't even thank you enough for all of the love that you all have shown me and the book. And may the book love and support you back. So thank you. On that note, Tanya TKO and I am out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? Most importantly, love yourself. Love yourself. And part of loving yourself is hmm, there's two sides to this. Part of loving yourself is seeing whether or not you're loving to other people. Seeing whether or not you're loving to yourself. Working on reprogramming the programming that you've received. That right there is part of loving yourself. Rewriting that subconscious programming because we all have received trauma through our lives. We all have limiting beliefs that have been programmed into us. And we all have come into contact with toxicity that has chipped away at our outer layers and become a part of our programming so that we're acting this out over and over again, either as the part of the assailant or the victim. So listen, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace. Thumbs up and share this video. It really matters for the YouTube algorithm.